Hello there, scholars. I'm back. Uh, let me give you an example. Um, this is this is something I've written about, and being a busboy at the Holiday Inn and running me. If I were writing a college application essay, and I, you know I have a lot of time now, a lot of experience looking back on my youth. When you're 18, looking back at 17, you don't have that critical distance that I have. That I'm 46, looking back when I was 16, I can see myself pretty clearly. I see myself more clearly now, ironically, as a 46-year-old than I did as a 16-year-old. Let's just say I want to write about being a busboy at the Holiday Inn. Any topic is okay to write about. It's what you have to say about the topic. It's your insight into working the fry machine. It's the insight on working at Yogurtland. What did you learn from someone who you worked with at Yogurtland? What did you learn about customers who might have gone to Yogurtland just for the free samples and then left without paying anything? What does that say about the economy? What does that say about human nature? That type of stuff is good. That's not cliche. You want to be original. Right? So if I were to write about the busboy at the Holiday Inn, I would want concrete, de concrete details. I tend to rush because I'm excited and uh, don't want to waste your time too much. Um, but and you want details that illustrate the character. What things do you do? What things do other people do that reveal who they are as a person? For instance, when I was a punk at 16, I was working at the Holiday Inn. I'm, I was from Eastern, so I was pretty arrogant and I was pretty smart. And I read, I read a little bit. And so I would put the word of the day on the menu to educate the masses. Now this was a, you know. And I thought it was funny. People out of thought it was funny. Um, but why would I do that? All right? the, Tom the cook would tease me, and I would actually write Tom the cook. I would say I would use dialogue. I would I would show the word that I put on there. Do I remember the actual words I put on there? No, but I can estimate all right, what I would say. All right? I would also I was smart, but I wanted to entertain. And even at that age, I was becoming a writer. Right, working on stories, working on words, doing these things. I would bus tables, fold napkins, luggage from buses. I would carry room service up. Um, I, I was doing lots of tasks, much like I do as a teacher, and much like I do as a father and as a husband. Lots of tasks, juggling all these things at once, carrying room service, taking luggage up, doing this, doing that, clearing trays out of the hallways, uh, putting the, uh, putting the uh, tray together, busing tables, flirting with the waitress or the dishwasher who I was in love with. All these things would go into my essay. And I would have to extrapolate what all this means. Right? Small things matter. Forgetting salt on a room service tray would cause me a second trip in irritation to the customer. So I would make sure I had salt there. Because if I didn't and I made mistakes, I would have to go back up, I'd have to come back, and the customer may be irritated and I might not get a good tip. And it's all about getting good tips and that kind of thing. Uh, a dirty table meant delay for the waiter and customer, and it's unsightly to other patrons. Right? So I took, I took pride in even being a busboy because I wanted to make sure that my waiters and my waitresses had clean tables so they could turn over the tables quickly, make money, they would tip me better, and people coming in. So that professionalism I illustrated at 16. So there's crazy things about me at 16. There are Bad things about me at 16, but there was things about me being a professional that I think might be important in an essay. I had to get along with many different types of people. I was the only one there, I think, besides the dishwasher, um, who was planning on going to college. I, no, that's not true. There's a couple others. But it was a very different environment than being at Eastern. It was run of me. It was working class. Kids my age hated school. They weren't going to college. I was going to college. So what did I learn from those two? type of people, Harry the Hat and Jersey Joe, uh, Jersey Joe, all these characters from my past that I could write about and I have written about, and who I, I these people still deeply matter to me, even though I haven't talked to them in many years. Um, I learned about hard work, and, and I take all work seriously. So that perhaps could be a thesis there, that all work matters, even busboy work matters. All right. Um, and I saved money to buy my own car, pay for insurance, and I used that money to travel in England and went to school uh, in England. So I didn't waste the money on things I did not need. Right? I saved the money for 
the train tickets to Europe, through Europe, uh, not to Europe, that would be uh, quite, a, uh, quite a tunnel. But that shows my frugality. It shows me saving for things that matter. So there's lots of essays, perhaps, in this grist, but it's getting the details. It's getting the details down and then picking which ones do you think matter and the details that are symbolic of, like the word I picked for the menu of the day, it could be a word like eclectic because the word eclectic might mean or extravagant or some other words that might mean something about me or something about my story that might come in and tie it all together. All right, I'll see you in the next uh, presentation.